Welcome back to another video. Today it's about four approaches on how to create a song. If you want to save some money on Bitwig Studio and the upgrade plans and you want to support my channel and my content, then go to my webpage, use the link to the Bitwig store, use my code and save 10% on the regular price. So here I created a small draft of a blog post for you to explain what I mean by approaches to creating a song. So the first approach is the algorithmic approach, of course. And as you can hear in the background, there's a generative patch playing. Uh, one of my generative patches I showed you in my videos. And this is exactly what I mean by that, by algorithmic approach. You basically design a system and this system plays the track or the song for you or maybe just a melody and instead of tweaking the sound the output itself you tweak the system you find the right sweet spot of all the parameters you find the right setup for um, the modules which modules to use and your main focus is basically the system and everything else is an afterthought right so the genres for algorithmic approach are mainly ambient because you can create easy ambient tracks with this. And as you can hear in the background, it's just creating an ambience. There's no real melody, uh, nothing to remember. It's just to get you uh, surrounded by nice sounding uh, waves of sound. Okay. Um, the second approach is the sound design approach. You mainly find this in genres like dubstep or EDM or experimental stuff like um, uh, music from Tipper or Mr. Bill. Um, and your main focus is basically creating a nice sounding sound. Um, bass sounds, mid-range sounds, lead sounds, weird vocals, something like this. And then you have a collection of all these sounds you pile up basically a lot of sounds and then you take all these sounds and create tracks out of it. You basically create a collage of sounds. And uh, what kind of key you use is an afterthought and uh, you don't use any algorithmic approaches to create your song. Maybe you use something like um, a randomizer where you create random sounds or you use a, a sample layer where you create random samples uh, layering to get new sounds out of nowhere but your main focus is basically how to create nice sounds and how to collage them right how to create an arrangement and also mixing and mastering plays a heavy role because the sound design is also about loudness and uh, placing the sounds in the right frequency uh, range and yeah make everything pretty loud and sounding nice so the sound design is the main focus of your tasks so um, the next one is the musical approach here and the musical approach is when you start with the with the chord progression you create a chord progression first or you are uh, sitting on your piano and you're focusing on creating a melody, chord progression, harmony, something like this first. And everything else is an afterthought. Maybe you plan to make a soundtrack for um, a film and you try to come up with a theme and you want to make four or five tracks with this, th with this uh, theme, but in different genres. Maybe you want something like uplifting or maybe more like sad, but you every time use the same theme, basically the same notes. So you start with a musical approach and try to come up with a nice melody, a nice theme for this film. And then uh, everything else is just an afterthought. Okay, so this is the musical approach and also something like um, um, borrowing chords from alt hits or melodies from alt hits is also something like this where your main focus is basically where do I get nice chords from where do I get nice harmony from or melody do I invent something myself or do I um, clone something from an older hit or something like this so this, this is the musical approach right 
And then we have the fourth one, which is the mixture of all three above. And um, this is maybe something like you do every time because you switch between everything back and forth and you try to uh, focus on the one or the other. But mainly I would say today modern music it's all about sound design approach. That's the main focus. Um, sometimes you mix in uh, one of the other, but the main thing is getting everything loud, having nice sounds and nobody cares so much about chords and melody. Uh, chords and, melody. and then I would say the second most uh, popular is the musical approach where you have something like um, um, yeah, um, synth wave or vapor wave or house music where you um, try to come up with a nice melody um, or chord progression and then you instantly switch back to sound design approach where you come up with a nice drum set, a nice bass sound, nice lead sounds and, and so on. So um, I would say the musical approach and the sound design approach is the most popular one. And then after this would be the algorithmic approach where people you see on YouTube um, tweaking around on the Eurorack and try to come up with some structure uh, playing for itself or like I do with my generative patches in the grid. And um, yeah, these are, I think, the three or four main approaches uh, to write a song these days. Um, there are maybe others and as you as I told you the fourth one is basically a mixture of all the four so we can put an emphasis on one or the other um, I plan to do maybe a tutorial on each of these approaches so one week one video basically for each approach to show you how this looks like inside Bitwig Studio where I create maybe a grid patch and maybe I create something like a, a sound design track and maybe a completely musical approach where I create some chords first and a melody so you can see uh, the workflow there inside Bitfix Studio. But I get a lot of questions or I see a lot of questions on the internet where people ask is Bitfix Studio right for making soundtracks? Is it good for making dubstep? Is it good for this or that? So I want to show that you can um, basically make everything inside Bitwig Studio um, what you need to create track these days without having any uh, drawbacks. So um, this is more, uh, more or less like just an introducing to all these uh, new videos coming for all the approaches. I also think about making a new beginner video for Bitwig Studio 3.0 because my last one is pretty old. It's about Bitwig Studio 2.0 without the grid and a lot of people complain about the strange noises in the video and yeah, this may be, this should be a fun video for all of you. So tell me what you think about it. Do you think about making music this way? Do you have a different approach than any of these I showed you and uh, yeah leave a comment leave a like leave a subscription and thanks for watching see you in the next video bye